Hello everybody, Andrea Dresk here with Dental Health Tutoring. Now let's have a look inside the Dental Assisting Student Program. So this course is for students who are either um, starting school, if you are about to start school, if you're thinking about being a dental assistant, if you're almost done school. So this is for those who are not looking to study for the exam, for the national exam or for the um, board exam in any way. But this is for students who are still in school and who need help. So if you need help with your projects, tests, assignments, anything, this is what you want because I have everything in here for you, literally everything. So the first thing to do is to make sure to be a part of our private Facebook um, group. So I will show you guys what that's about here. So I started this about a year ago and um, students love it. So this has pretty much everything that you need to know and it is for um, members only. So mock exams, as an example, there are tons in here. So if you click on um, comment, you will see some here. And then always make sure to click on view more because then you can actually see all of them. So let's say you have a test coming up um, tomorrow on anatomy. So click on that and then it will take you over here. Um, and again, these are for um, members only. So if you want to learn it by testing, by matching, because I have all of your questions and answers here. But let's say you just simply want to look at them, right? So questions and answers. Click on the first one and then you will see questions and then again, multiple choice answers here. So it makes studying a lot more interesting, I think, right? Just a lot easier and less um, stressful. So I have that on tons of different ones. Um, I will upload the mock exams. I typically do it once a week, um, a new topic or twice a week, even sometimes. Like I did the nervous system yesterday and I did the endocrine system today. I did microbiology on Sunday. So there's always lots here. Plus, um, we have a live um, case study session um, every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I do put that in here as well. I'll just kind of show you guys what that looks like. So the session links are here and that's it, easy. And typically our sessions last about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes sometimes, but we have them every single um, week, which is nice. So you have, if you have any questions, if you need help with anything, I am always here to help. And to have a look at those too, I put them inside your 2017 new um, session links here. So just click on that. So as I mentioned, we did a case study session last Sunday on dental um, materials. So you just have to click that. And if you wanna make the screen larger, there you go. So I typically do a lecture for a little bit first here. That's me. And then we go through questions and then we go through answers. So it is awesome. You will learn a ton of things. Um, so let me just make this smaller for you guys. Whoops, I clicked it again by mistake. So there's tons here. So same thing, if you have a test coming up on anatomy, just click here and I will teach you anatomy for an hour and 12 minutes. So I do a lecture and then we will talk about either some mock exam questions or we do new um, case studies about once a week. So there's always tons of stuff to learn, tons and tons of stuff. So uh, yeah, you guys, so this is that. What else did I wanna to talk to you guys about? Um, oh yes, yeah, so of course, the membership login area. So the modules, so I know that some of you are probably thinking, well, I like to watch, you know, I like to watch and, and listen. So if you prefer that, then you wanna go over here and see everything. But if you're thinking, well, I don't really want to watch anything anymore, I kind of would like to read something. So let's just click on the first um, topic here, and you have some things to look at. So let's click on Code of Ethics, just as an example. So this is a pretty short PowerPoint, about eight slides only, but all of it is right here. Um, I think this is a pretty small module, so there's not too much in here. Um, some of the PowerPoints are longer and some of them are shorter. Now this one's actually a longer one, so 43 slides. So um, keep in mind though that each module will not only take you two hours, like 
if, if something says 43 slides or more, it will probably take you studying two hours for three days, maybe four days to learn all of it. And that's normal. But make sure to not study too much, but don't study too little either. If you're thinking of studying, you know, an hour a day, that's probably not enough. I suggest studying two hours a day minimum and six hours a day maximum. So no waking up at two in the morning. No, no, no. That will not help you. Trust me. Um, study six hours a day maximum and make sure to get enough sleep. That is important because if you're not, then anything you're reading or watching is not helping you. And then you think to yourself, well, I just spent eight, eight hours looking through some material, yet the next day I don't remember anything. And it's probably because you had studied too much. So if you plan to study all day, then I suggest doing it, say, two hours in the morning, um, taking a break for two hours. Um, two hours in the afternoon, taking a break for an hour, and then doing it again two hours sometime in the evening. But that's it at the most, because there is such a thing as doing it too much. Um, so yeah, you guys, so there's lots of different topics, lots of different modules. So as an example, again, so if you're in your first semester, you won't need to look at all of this yet. So only look at things that you are learning now, because if you try to look at things that you're not learning yet, you'll be quickly overwhelmed. And I don't want that to happen to you. So only look through the topics that you are learning now. If you're in your third semester, you know, only look at the topics you are learning now. Because if you try to look back at everything else, you can't study everything now that you have to study for your test um, tomorrow or this week or next week even. So try to only look at things that you need to now, if that makes sense. But if, if you guys need, need any help, have any questions, please just let me know. Plus, if you ever have any questions, you just have to move over here again and just type in your question. Um, whoops, I can't spell question. <laughs> Um, and I typically answer your question within two hours. If I'm teaching, it might take four hours. So it does depend on the day, but my um, students can access me anytime here, anytime, like literally 24 seven. Um, I typically head to bed around 11 though. So if you message me after 11, yes, I might not answer until the morning, but I'm pretty much always, always here. So I hope this helped you guys. And as you can see, students ask me questions all the time, which is awesome. I post at least once a day, sometimes even twice a day. So there's a lot in here to help you. Um, because yeah, you know, I was a student once too, and it was hard. I became a dental assistant first, and then I became a dental hygienist after that. And I know it's not easy and it does help to have help. So that's why I am here to help you. So if you guys have any questions, please just let me know and I will um, see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching.